I basically have lived all over the state, but I'm obviously just so passionate about this area that I'm raising my family here. There's not much to not love about Sarasota. It has everything someone could want. Real estate. Nicole Smith, welcome to my podcast studio. Oh, thank you for having me, Steve. Yeah, Steve? Oh, come on. I call you Steve in business. It's more professional. Okay, why do you call me Steve? (laughs) I call you Steve because I feel like when I refer to you as my dad or my father, that it undermines my level of experience and expertise in my field and makes it look like I'm just working for daddy. Uh, And we both know that is so far from the truth. Now, I have heard some people call you a second-gen realtor. Yes, they do. So there's possibly some value in that? No? How do you think that's taken, the second-gen realtor thing? No, I I think that it is well-received. And it's not like I'm trying to hide the fact that you're my father. I guess referring to you over and over again as my dad or my father just makes it seem like I... I'm not as serious of a realtor as I need to be, um, that it, things were just kind of handed to me. Yes, and, and if anybody actually knows me and like knows the way that I raised my kids, I didn't hand you guys anything. Oh, no, no, no. We had to work. I wouldn't that. even let you win a game of checkers. I won once. Yes, but I didn't let you. You actually had to earn that Yes, win. I've had to earn everything my entire life. And I actually do take a lot of pride now in earning and earning things. What do they say? Um, nothing worth having ever comes easy. So Yes. So the main reason why you're sitting here for this podcast is because you have been working on a blog that is, I think, going to be extremely helpful to hundreds or thousands of people that are considering moving to this area. And I, I've been reading some of the drafts as you're moving along and just seeing how you're hitting on all the different areas of Sarasota County. I know that people out there are calling from New York and calling us from California and just everywhere. They're seeing Sarasota as the number one place that people are moving to right now. And this has been going on for a while. You know, the news reports it that way. We see it every day. It's just a fact. But Sarasota is so much more than just Siesta Key, which is what many people think of when they think of Sarasota because of the Siesta Key television show, right? And the fact that it's been rated the number one beach over and over and over and over again in all of America. Right, right. There's just so much to learn about this. And I know that you are highly qualified to talk about this because you've lived in, I don't know what, five cities in and around the area? I, think. I mean, more than that, I've, I've moved all over, but just within this area, yes, I've lived in the city of Sarasota. I've lived in multiple different subsections of Sarasota. I've lived in Northport, Venice, and Nokomis. Now I live in Lakewood Ranch, which part of Lakewood Ranch is also in Sarasota. Yes. You just moved there recently, and before that, you were living in the city of Sarasota. I was living Sarasota. within the city limits of Sarasota. So, The purpose of the blog that you are doing is what? Well, when you ask me to describe Sarasota County to people who are possibly moving from out of state or just out of area uh, so that they could better understand maybe where they might want to be, I I didn't really want to do it, honestly. It, it's really, it's going to be super time consuming, but I get it. It's, it is super beneficial because there are so many different lifestyle options and so many different subsections, not just within the county, because there are a lot, but then you you try to dissect Sarasota and it's like, that's three blogs in itself to try to get information across because you have North Sarasota, Central Sarasota, South Sarasota, you have Lido Key, Bird Key, Siesta Key, and within all of those, you have multiple different subdivisions, non deed restricted areas, gated communities, golf communities. I mean, and that's just touching on everything west of the highway. It's, it's just really, really detailed. The thought process that you're having to go through in this, you know, and, and even some additional research just on some specific areas. What are the current home prices? Yeah, current home prices. Because they change all the time, well, especially right now. Right. Right. So, yeah, this blog that you're writing as far as home prices go, you know, maybe we should just add 10% to all of them. Well, I do say current (laughs) home prices, (laughs) so they can't hold me to anything. Right, right. So there are 18 zip codes just for Sarasota, the city. And I know that, 
you know, and all the news reports out there where they're talking about people moving to Sarasota and whatnot, a lot of people don't realize that Sarasota is also the name of the county that Sarasota is in. Mm -hmm. And so that's where, where we also end up with Northport and Venice and Welland Park and Nokomis, Nokomis. Osprey. A part of Englewood actually is in there too with Minnesota Key. And so there's so much more to, hey, I'm thinking about moving to Sarasota than most people might realize. Yeah. And part of our job is dissecting why. And I feel like so many people don't feel the need to explain to me in detail from the beginning the why. The why um, what? What, what are they looking for? Why are they moving here? What are the things that interest them about what they think Sarasota is? Because that's a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And, you know, we could spend a week going out every single day showing you things that have nothing to do with the lifestyle that you're looking for. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to waste everyone's time like that. Well, so. no. And when people fill out the wish list and they put, you know, they want a three bedroom, three bath, pool home, three car garage, or whatever it is that they're wanting, and they give us, they give us a price point. We can get that for you anywhere within Sarasota County. Right. Well, if your <laughs> price, if your well, price point's pri- high enough. Right, right, right. Right. <laughs> right. But they're looking online and they're looking at, at photos of beautiful homes with beautiful swimming pools, maybe overlooking water or a golf course. And they all start to look the same at some point, Mm -hmm. but the neighborhoods are what makes the difference. Mm. And everything that you were just saying, it's what is your lifestyle? What's what's important to you? Do you want to walk the beach every morning? Well, then you really probably don't want to live in Lakewood Ranch because it's going to be a 45 minute drive from some parts of Lakewood Ranch. Oh, up to an hour. Yeah, to the nearest beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you love the way that that Neil community house looks that you're looking at that they're building brand new in Lakewood Ranch, well, you probably also like the one that they're building in Boca Royale. Uh, People from Boca Royale ride their bike to the beach and ride the key. So what is most important to you? And both areas, Lakewood Ranch and Boca Royale, have great golf courses. That's why it really is so important that You know, when people are filling out the wish list or talking to us, they're giving us as much details as they can about what is important to them. Yeah, not even just uh, beaches and golf courses, which is what I I feel most people kind of um, default to when telling us what they're looking for. Other things you have to consider, are you going to be looking for fine dining options? Do you like upscale boutiques or possibly a, a beach club membership? Because we do also have that in Sarasota. Um, some people really want easy access to the beach and that's the best way to go about it. You pull up, you valet, you've got a pool, a beach right there, towel service, and, uh, you know, they have servers come out to give you food and drink. And so it may not be in the community that you're living in, but you're, you're a member of it. Yeah. Yeah. You're a member of it. And is that something that you need to be close to? Right. And another thing I've noticed that people, especially from the North don't understand about our area is, you know, up there, it seems that. You have communities that are all of different price points all right next to each other, you know? So if you have this little subsection that's all million-dollar-plus homes, then you have this subsection that's all $300,000-plus homes. In Sarasota, there are many different areas where you could have a $2 million house next to a $300,000 house. That is mind-blowing for many people when they come down here. Yeah. And, And, you know, if you do want to live in an area where all of the houses are of about the same value, well, we can do that, too. Mm -hmm. But... That's not most of Sarasota County. It, no. it's it's more rare. Let's talk about the Florida Keys for a minute. You know, Florida Keys uh, have been very popular for many years. They're written about in, in a lot of songs. Mm-hmm. Um, Aruba, Jamaica. Yeah, well, and that's like Kokomo, which doesn't even exactly exist. But the concept of Kokomo is very real down here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, what have been some of your favorite things about? living so close to the Keys and and what they offer. Now, are you talking about the quote-unquote Florida Keys, or are we talking about the barrier islands that... I'm talking about our Florida Keys right (laughs) here. Our Florida Keys, which are barrier islands around Sarasota County. Yes. Okay. Um, You know, I really enjoy the opportunity to have so many different beaches to choose from. You know, we have Lido Key, which has uh, a beautiful beach. There's not a whole ton of public parking. Um, But like I said, they do have the Ritz Beach Club where you can just valet. You don't have to worry about it. Um, But Lido Key is is great. That's where the boat races happen. And then right off the beach, you have St. Armand Circle. So I can go to the beach, right, get my tan, hang out with my friends, and then 
take a minute drive over to St. Armand Circle, get some Starbucks, go shopping at the boutiques, uh, head over to shore and get lunch. It It's Lido Key is probably honestly my favorite key just because it has a variety of, of options for me for, throughout the day and I never have to leave. Yeah, for the listener, I want to say, you know, do a search uh, for St. Armand Circle because it is worth taking a look at. Oh, yeah. It's just this tiny little, you know, roundabout. I guess it's a huge roundabout, yeah, a huge but it roundabout. is just a roundabout. And you have seafood restaurants, you have uh, lunch spots, you have um, high-end dining, you have, um, you know, live music, you have many different shops from clothing to jewelry to, uh, you know, odd and end items, knickknacks, uh, locally owned stores that have local artists that sell their, their work in there, like sculptures, paintings, whatever. It's it's a really unique place, and I personally love it because it feels really upscale. It's a beautiful place to just walk around, even if, if you're not buying or eating anything. It's just really great, energetic atmosphere. You are just a wealth of information. I know, I know. So we're talking about... The islands. The, yeah, we're talking about the barrier islands. We just went over Lido. Right. Siesta Key, honestly, I used to love it when it wasn't so over-advertised. Now it seems that everyone coming to Sarasota... They want to go to Siesta Key. They don't even know about Lido Key. They don't even know about St. Armand Circle. All they know about is they saw Siesta Key was uh, rated the number one beach in America. And now we have this MTV show called Siesta Key. And it's just getting so much hype. Now, I will say that during holidays, Siesta Key is really fun. All those people bring a really high, fun energy for Memorial Day, 4th of July. They have the fireworks. They do bar crawls. You know, for someone in my age group, I'm 32. I might maybe be hitting the top of the age group that does this, but it, it's it's a really fun thing to experience, especially on the holidays. So what I'll do as a resident is I'll just rent a condo because there's no way you're finding parking. You know, so if you just rent a, a condo for the weekend, you can still experience all of that on Siesta Key and uh, not have to deal with the traffic over and over and over again. So that's what that's my workaround. But just on a day-to-day basis, I don't really go to Siesta Key. I understand the draw, but it's not worth it for me. When yeah, there's, places- there's no doubt about it that, you know, Siesta Key is a tourist attraction. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it. But wow, what a beautiful tourist attraction. I noticed in your blog as I'm reading the drafts that you talk about like living in Osprey is pretty much right in the middle of Siesta Key and Casey Key. It is. So, Mm -hmm. and what, maybe a 10-minute drive, 15-minute drive to Yeah, either way. Mm -hmm. You know, Osprey is a place that nobody knows about. No, what's Osprey? (laughs) Yeah, but I mean, that that has, uh, I think, one of the best golf and country club, like luxury communities Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, of any place in Sarasota, especially a place so close to the golf. It's probably, I would say, the only place in Sarasota County that you can get on the mainland that has the golf and country club atmosphere, and you're still close, under 15 minutes, to, to multiple beaches. It It's the only one. And I just realized that we hadn't said the name of it. And, oh, it's the Oaks. Mm-hmm. And in the Oaks, in fact, we have a condo we're about to list in the Oaks. You know, there's a variety of options from condos to single family homes, extremely grand single family homes. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, what, what or are, just mini mansions. Yeah, mini mansions. What What are the price points in the Oaks? I would say probably for a smaller condo at 400000 to start, you know, all, all the way up to several million. Yeah, for, for the mini mansions. Mm-hmm. Not something for everybody. No, <laughs> but if that is exactly what you're looking for, and you absolutely have to have that country club lifestyle and those private golf courses and a gated community, but you want to be close to the beach, that's your option. Uh, they do have higher HOA fees than the area average. You also have to buy into their membership with a you know initial fee from forty five thousand to sixty thousand dollars. But if that's what you want and you're willing to pay for it, that is your only option. It's a great one. Yeah. It's your only one. It's gorgeous in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. What part of Sarasota County would be the best place for someone who's looking to build a new construction home on a large piece of land with privacy? Um, Well, you were talking about Northport. Okay. Just hands down. If somebody is wanting to build a new home. Mm-hmm. And you know they've got a budget under four hundred, sometimes even under three hundred. Uh, I actually I'm closing on somebody on the twenty second of this month uh, who is getting into a brand new home on a ten thousand square foot lot for two hundred sixty one thousand dollars. That's 
Incredible. Yeah. yeah. It, There's it, nowhere else in Sarasota County you can really do no, that. No. Well, I've been calling Northport the final frontier of Sarasota County for a long time. There's still thousands of available lots in Northport. Mm-hmm. Uh, at any given time, there's like three or 400 for sale on the MLS at prices from 5000 to, I'm just talking about normal family size lots. Uh, so maybe up to about forty or fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars, depending on if they have city water or not. Most of Northport is well and septic, but it is the place where you can build a brand new home and have total control outside of whatever the the county or city says. But there's no HOA. You can paint it the color you want to paint it. You can put up a fence. In most of Northport, six feet four inches is the highest you can put up a fence. But that's a good size privacy fence. You can keep your kids and your dogs in the backyard safely. And there aren't uh, a lot of restrictions on the size or style of home or builder that you choose in that area. No, and there's lots of builders building in Northport these days. There's lots. I get a lot of people in Venice who want a new home, but then when they start looking at some of the options, you know what, what does Northport have to offer? I think I'd, I'd rather have uh, a place where there's no HOA. And yeah, and the majority of Northport is not deed restricted. Right. I would say, what, 90%? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that that's a, a really good option for the people wanting to move down and do that. Also, if you're wanting to buy a resale, uh, I'm closing next week on, on one of my listings. For three hundred and eighty-five thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and it's a twenty-one, almost twenty-two hundred square foot pool home. Mm-hmm. It's and, updated, right? Yeah, it's updated. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a great kitchen. Uh, you know uh, that wood look tile floor throughout most, and of, it's newer. Yes, yeah, so built in two thousand six. Mm-hmm. For people who are looking online and trying to figure out what they can get where, that we're going right back to how, the information you put in your wish list and the information that you're telling us as we're trying to to get to know you. Mm-hmm. It's going to help us know because for that four hundred thousand dollars. You could get a large updated pool home in Northport, but you could also get a condo on Venice Island where you could walk to the beach. Or you could get a tiny house with no pool that needs updating in Sarasota. <laughs> right, right. You could exactly, you, you could do that. Uh, and then you start updating it. And I mean, the value of that can only go up. Another, um, but another thing that we need to know about people is how close do you want to be to the beach? Because Northport isn't close to the beach. It's also not close to any fine dining or uh, a mall. You're smack dab in the middle of Sarasota and Fort Myers. So for some people, that doesn't matter. Some people just want the space. Some people want the freedom. When I lived there, I, it, everyone there kind of has this you do you and I'll do me mentality. They leave you alone. They let you do your thing. I mean, we were riding a four-wheeler up and down our street. And nobody cared. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can't really do that in Sarasota. No. So as much information as we can get about everything they're looking for um, is really going to be able to help us narrow down what spots are going to be best for them. UTC, that is like the mall of the area. Oh, yeah. That's almost like a a world mall. Let's talk about the fact that University Town Center isn't just a mall. University Town Center is actually a pretty large area of different shops and and dining. It has a mixture of locally owned places and um, and chain restaurants, commercial retailers. You know, you, you have your Verizon, AT&T, Old Navy, Best Buy. Um, you have some finer dining like the Capitol Grill, Seasons 52, uh, over at the, the mall itself. But it's actually called the Mall at UTC. Um, so yeah, the mall at UTC is is a wonderful mall. They have a Saks Fifth Avenue. They have a, a Nordstrom. They have all your basic shops like Express, Victoria's Secret, things like that. They have Santa come for the holidays. And also for Christmas, they do a, a huge, they did last year, it was incredible. It was like a winter wonderland of lights uh, that had an ice skating rink. And it was like you just skated through all the different Christmas lights. It's like com- completely surrounding you. You are in a world of Christmas lights, How did ice I skating see that? in Sarasota, Florida. Yeah. And every, I think it was 30 minutes, if you're shopping through, you know, the town center, they had a show going on with coordinating music lights and music that played through the entire town center. So your lights on the palm trees in the shops were lighting up to the beat of the music that was playing. It's incredible. I'm learning so much in this podcast. This is incredible. <laughs> now, seriously, I didn't know that they did that. I mean, I, I mean, I drive by on the freeway and the parking lots in the building is all decked out for Christmas. It's like, wow, this is really cool. But I just don't tend to go to the malls anymore for Christmas. I, I'm going to have to change that this year. Yeah, it is quite an experience. I mean, whether you're visiting or you live here. Oh. 
It's like the mini Disney World. Wow. Very cool. For your shopping pleasure. (laughs) I guess. Mm -hmm. My main office is downtown Sarasota. So I'm in Sarasota a lot, but there's just things. Well, that's a different part of Sarasota. Downtown is about 15 minutes away from University Town Center. Going back to the fact that every different subsection of Sarasota offers different things. Right. When I came down here in 1983, and I actually lived in Nokomis for nine months and got two part-time jobs and, uh, <laughs> and, and lived the Beach Boy lifestyle for a while, that's when I fell in love with this area. Like, I really, really know this area. And I was talking to a customer yesterday who had come down here, and she was talking with an agent from St. Pete. At first, she thought she might move to that area. And then she decided to look down here, and she fell in love with Welland Park. Which is a world away from anything in St. Pete. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That is that is pretty south Sarasota County. You know, she told me that she had been working with this agent in St. Pete who said that, you know, she could sell down here. She has sold down here. Uh, I pulled up her numbers and saw that she has sold a couple things down here. So, you know, she was being legit. But she said, talking to you, Steve, I can tell you know every single thing that I want and where to get it. You understand it. You know, it's like we're we're sitting in the the neighborhood and you're saying, okay, and this is here and this is here and this is there. When I moved here, it's like, I'm just never leaving. They can take me out in a body bag. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I don't need to go anywhere else. And, and, you know, that's the type of passion that I definitely see in you about Sarasota. Oh, yeah. I, and I haven't only lived in Sarasota. You know, like you said, I came from Detroit right. when I was 10 years old. And since then, I've also lived in St. Petersburg. I've lived in Tampa. I've lived in Jacksonville. And I've lived in Atlanta. I've lived in Fort Myers. Uh, I've, I've lived in, what, Lehigh Acres, which that's nothing to talk about. That, that, that was a short there. time. Yeah. Oh, and I've lived in Orlando. I've lived in yeah. so many different... Par- oh, and Fort Lauderdale. I mean, I basically have lived all over the state, but I'm obviously just so passionate about this area that I'm raising my family here. At least I moved you to a place that you love. Right? You did. I end, Yes, you ended up moving me to a place that I really am passionate about. There's not much to not love about Sarasota. It has everything someone can want. Real estate agent fans. Real estate agent fans. Write down his cell phone number. And do not forget his name. 941-894-9800. Smith.com. Steve Martin Smith is a licensed Florida realtor with Remax Planet Realty and Steve Martin Homes Group.